The name Apollyon means destroyer and is the name of the angel of the abyss. He also has another name, Abaddon. This name also comes from the word meaning destruction. Abaddon is the name that has been used in various cultures and religious traditions. In some interpretations, it refers to a place of destruction or the realm of the dead. In other beliefs, it is associated with a specific figure. Abaddon is often depicted as a powerful or malevolent being. The concept of Abaddon appears in various religious texts and mythologies, including the Hebrew Bible and Christian scriptures. Now, different interpretations and perspectives exist on the meaning and significance of Abaddon. Now, that depends on the culture and religious context. In the Christian Bible, Abaddon is both a place of destruction and the angel of the abyss. The term Abaddon is a Hebrew word meaning doom and is mentioned in the Bible's wisdom literature. You also find the word in the book of Revelation where it is personified as the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Greek is Apollyon, meaning destroyer. Abaddon is the king of the plague of the locusts, resembling horses with crowned human faces, women's hair, lion's teeth, wings, iron breastplates, and a tail with a scorpion stinger that torments for five months anyone who does not have the seal. Now that seal is the seal of God. Now the truth is Abaddon is the actual angel of hell. He is also the destroying angel of the Old Testament. He is the destroyer of the firstborn of Egypt, that tenth plague in Exodus. He is the true keeper of Sheol, which is the abyss, the bottomless pit, or the grave. He is charged with overseeing the spirits of the dead by God himself until that mass resurrection happens. Abaddon is also the fifth rider horseman called Hell in the book of Revelation that comes with death at the breaking of the fourth seal. Abaddon is believed to be one of the two angels that destroyed the cities of Sodom, Glamora, and others. He was also the destroying angel ordered by God to wipe out Jerusalem because of David's sin. In the Old Testament, Abaddon and death can be personified. Abaddon and death say, we have heard a rumor of it with our ears. Now that's in Job. And also in Job, Sheol is naked before God, and Abaddon has no covering. Now, Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, and never satisfied are the eyes of man. That comes from Proverbs. And hell and destruction are not filled, so also are the eyes of men insatiable. That comes from Proverbs as well. And, but whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth and destroyeth his own self. Proverbs again. Now the symbolism of Revelation 9-11 leaves the identity of Abaddon open to interpretation. Some Protestants believe Abaddon to be the Antichrist. And some identify him as the angel, as actually Satan. Abaddon, however, is an angel not of Satan, but of God. This is what the Methodists say. Performing his work of destruction at God's bidding. Now, of a worthy note here, the Jehovah Witness also cite Revelation where the angel having the key to the abyss is actually shown to be a representative of God, concluding that Abaddon is another name for Jesus after his resurrection. Now, though most reference works apply this name to some evil person or force, the Jehovah Witness see it differently. They point out in the book of James, one there is that is lawgiver and judge, he who is able to save and to destroy. They point at Matthew, the unclean spirits cast out a man by Jesus in a synagogue, acknowledged Jesus as God's agent and said, what have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? Now, Jesus did warn of the danger of being destroyed. So, there are other texts that point to the glorified Christ Jesus as the one referred to by the title of Abaddon. 
there are plenty of connections to Jesus. Now, also found in Revelation, Jesus tells John of Patmos that he holds the keys to death and hell. There's also the belief that Jesus, for the three days between the crucifixion and death and resurrection, was in hell. Now, Abaddon is also said to have a prominent role in the Last Judgment as the one who will take the souls to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And he is described in the Apocalypse of Bartholomew as being present in the tomb of Jesus at the moment of his resurrection. Lots to think about. The description, the depiction of Abaddon often mirrors the religions and cultural context of the time. Just food for thought.